There's a saying, and I, I more or less agree with the thrust of it, although um, I, I don't think there really are good people and, and bad people, good people and evil people. Um, everyone's capable of good, everyone's capable of evil. Some people just are capable of more evil than others, and may, maybe there are one or two genuinely evil people, but not many. But the saying goes, there are good people and evil people. Good people do good things, and evil people do bad things. But for good people to do evil things, you need religion. It's kind of true, you know, religion, uh, uh, sure, sometimes religion makes people do good things, but, you know, um, irreligious or atheists people do good things as well. You don't need religion for that. But for people to do shit like, you know, fly aeroplanes into buildings, blow up market squares, stuff like that, it's overwhelmingly caused by um, the cancer of religion. Um, not saying all religious people are bad. You know, most religious people don't really get a say in it. That's just what what they're used to, and sometimes it's difficult to break away from it. But that that saying is there. I think it has some merit. You can make a similar saying about feminism. There are good women, and there are bad women. Good women do good things. Bad women do bad things. But for good women to do bad things, that requires feminism. And I. I, I I just made that up as far as I know. I don't know if someone else has, has ever said that. But you can see so many cases of good women um, being indoctrinated, radicalized into radical intersectional feminism, which is basically just a hate movement against men. And it's, just not, it's not just the most extremist, most radicalized people. Like Anne Hathaway, who's who's gone full retard for her. Um, now she used to, she used to, she used to be an attractive, um, well-adjusted woman. Apparently, I mean, you never really know that actors, actors and actresses what they're like in real life. Usually a disappointment. Usually just not that smart, not that interesting. But um, yeah, she she's just gone mental with her extremism. The, the problem is these people are in a already in a bubble. But then they get infected by a radicalization, and, and they, they probably have never even heard any of the arguments against the bigoted, racist, sexist um, religion of intersectionality. They've probably never heard any of the arguments against it. And anyone with a brain can really just look at this shit and destroy it instantly, like you can with communism. It just doesn't fucking work. Cannot work. Same with intersectionality. It's just bigotry. It's just racism. It's nothing more than that. It's discriminating based on race. But it's not even just the extremists, um, the, the ISIS, the Nazis of the intersectional movement, like Anne Hathaway, like Ros Rosario Dawson or Rosario, some, whatever her name is, something like that. Like Oprah Winfrey's girlfriend, Rosina Duvet or du Duvernay, whatever her name is. It's not just extremist, um, you know, SS captains, um, Rommel leaders in the Nazi intersectional movement just normal women are just being destroyed by intersectional feminism again not not equality feminism where women have the same rights and opportunities as men which they do in the west and have for decades it's illegal to, to do that any other way not not that kind of feminism intersectional intersectional feminism a feminism based on race hate and gender hate that's what intersectional feminism is so yes uh, there are uh, good women and evil women. Good women do good things, evil women do evil things, but for good women to do evil things, it takes feminism. And I really think that that sums it up. And, and this shit is infecting everyone. You rarely hear, you start to hear it, but you rarely hear um, a vehemently anti-feminist women. Now, part of that, of course, is that most of most people on some level, especially... Um, extremists in Hollywood, like Brie Larson, are just fucked. They just want cash. They just want cash. They want power. They want celebrity. They, they don't give a fuck about uh, truth. They're used car salesmen. They're politicians. They just want cash. So if if anti-feminism was, was the big thing in Hollywood, Brie Larson would be on the anti-feminist bandwagon. If Nazism was the big thing in Hollywood, Brie, Lar Brie Larson would be on the Nazi bandwagon. They just do whatever it takes to get the cash. They have no principles. They don't actually give a fuck what they're talking about. They are fake woke. They're using it as a tool. But this tool infects 
people that may be good. So it infects them in that way. It, 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 they don't give a shit about the consequences of the evil ideas of intersectional feminism, of intersectionality. They don't give a shit about the consequences of it. The consequences of it destroying um, the good, fair society that we have and bringing in an unfair, hate-based society, which is what intersectionality is, a hate movement. I don't think our society should be based on hate, weirdly. Intersectional feminists do. Um, so they are destroying a good society, replacing it with a fucking nightmare society, or trying to. Um, ultimately, they will fail. Um, but it takes... It's, it's not just the powerful people who are using a tool to just get cash, which is what they want. Brie Larson just wants a, a bed of money um, to lie in. I think um, Emma Watson, another prominent feminist, I think she's just a fucking clueless little girl who, again, has been brainwashed with feminism and has never heard any of the uh, argument, never heard any of the arguments against it. I think she has recently. She must have seen some of the criticism of her online because she's commented on it. She doesn't seem like an, a moron. She just seems like she's in a, a bubble within a bubble within a bubble. If society didn't have the Nazi cancer of intersectional feminism in it, she would probably just be a, you know, a normal, well-adjusted woman. Um, but this, this Nazi cancer of feminism has infected her. Like she, she's childless and she, she's self-coupled in her early 30s. Um, fine, you can make that decision with your eyes open if you want to. Um, but the, 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 clock's, the clock's ticking, right? It's not, it's not bad to be a mother if that's what you want at that age. This is why um, when arguments against the hatred and bigotry of intersectional feminism are shut down, this is why it's a problem. Because this, this can these cancerous ideas start infecting society and start infecting our institutions, start infecting normal people. This is why all ideas, ones I agree with and disagree with, they must all be open to scrutiny, they must all be open to debate, they all, must all be open to criticism. So if you see good women and good men um, embracing intersectionality, the hate movement, or embracing intersectional feminism, the hate movement, expose them to the arguments against it. Um, society needs people uh, to, to attack um, and expose bad ideas. It just has to be done. The Deviant Developer Podcast. Tap subscribe in any podcast app to never miss an episode. Please leave a review on iTunes and like on YouTube. It's essential to spread the word. To contact me or make a welcome donation, go to thedeviantdeveloper.com. Your support is greatly appreciated.